I'm calling it quits, guys. Oh. My tongue feels like it's all cut up. My stomach feels like shit. But of course, I tried. And that's all that matters to Cyber. That's all that matters to me. I know the war will stand by me for this. So everyone have a nice, happy Halloween. And stay tuned. Stay a little bit longer for this video for a nice special treat. Hey, it's the work here. Doing a little uh, update video. Things uh, went south in the house, in the hotel tonight. Me and Mark got in a little fight. And you can see, you know, busted up my nose and my lip a little bit. Um, yeah, it was about sideways, so I'm going to have to, like, cut that off. Just thought you guys want to know what's up, and, uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you next time. All right, guys, I promised you guys a nice spooky little treat today, and this is it. I'm going to start carving this pumpkin. I'm going to answer your guys' question that you asked me on this live feed here that's happening right now. So the first question is from 
Mr. Mercury 19 and it says, is that a chain I made for Ron on Father's Day? Well, uh, I'm not sure who you are, Mr. Mercury. You might be an old friend of mine or something, but uh, this chain was given to me by my mother after my first MMA fight. I actually lost the fight, but she was so proud of me, she gave me this 24.6 karat gold chain and I wear it every day of my life and I make sure I have it with every competition. And let's see if we got any other... Oh, question just came in from Utah, Arizona. How you got? Good Grill Crust says, what is your favorite challenge so far? Uh, Mr. Kid Grill Crust? <laughs> Uh, well, my favorite challenge so far has probably been the lemon challenge. I, I'm a big fan of lemons. Uh, actually, no, maybe the Spongebob Sunday. I really do love Spongebob, but I do love Sundays. So, uh, probably one of those two, though. I, I'm a big fan of uh, sweet treats, so to speak. So, thank you for good grill crust. And another one just came in from Arizona. Wow, a lot of Arizona fans out there. Jack... 27. Okay, Jack27. Hi, Delirious Mark here. He's asking, what is your favorite candy to get on Halloween, and how do you incorporate that candy with your MMA fighting? It's a very weird and specific question, but um, basically, I love Kit Kats, and I use the Kit Kats as a as a break motivator. After I work out for about a couple hours, I get a Kit Kat and I get a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Of that Kit Kat bar. Yeah, so that's how I incorporate the Kit Kat with my MMA fighting. All right. Oh, new one from John A. from Tustin. All right. Hi, Mark. Great videos. How do you always have so much vitality? Well, that's a great question, uh, was John. Uh, really, I eat a lot of protein, and my main source of protein is actually from cow's tails. Um, it's actually illegal to eat in the United States, specifically where I'm at, but I have a guy who lives in um, downtown, and he knows exactly what I want, and he gets it for me. And the best way to eat the cow's tail is by um, cutting up into little pieces, boiling it for about seven hours, and after that, it's pretty much nice and good to go. All right. All right, let's see. We got another one. Oh, it's coming in. Mike Hunt from down south. What gear do you wear to the gym? Oh, what gear? Yeah, what gear do you wear to the gym? Well, Mike Hunt, uh, my gear is usually um, nothing. I just wear a Speedo, a nice little, a tight sweater, my chain, of course, my glasses, and that's pretty much it. I like to be as loose as possible. I like to make sure that I'm always just ready to go at the gym. I want to be prepared. I want to be able to move around freely. And I want my balls to feel comfortably, most of all. And the Speedo really just keeps it all intact to make sure I'm going to be safe out there. Okay? Alright, we got another one coming in. Ah, uh, come on faster. My internet connect is a little slow because uh, we got the ward on the Wi-Fi, we got Cyber on the Wi-Fi, we got Terry on the Wi-Fi. And so I think also my neighbors are stealing my Wi-Fi. Alright, I really want them to stop. Oh! <laughs> Delirious <laughs> Mark, how did you get your name? Um, I was at um, in a dojo down in uh, Santa Barbara, actually, and I was fighting a, a gentleman named Castle. That's where Castle Jim comes from. His name was uh, Jake Castle, and we were fighting. We were having a good sparring session, and during the fight, I started laughing at him at the highest pitch possible and it freaked him out and I beat him. I won the tournament. And after that he's called me Delirious Mark and he said I, I've never met anyone who's as crazy as you and it kind of just stuck from there. And nothing much more to say. Alright let's see what else we got here. Alright. Cool Dude 69 from New York City says how would you rate Saiba from 0 to 10? Well I don't want to lie to the fans. She's probably like a 6. A hard six, though. Not like a soft six. A good hard six. She's very beautiful. She has a very slimming waist. She she doesn't work out like I do. She, she actually just sits around the house most of the time and just um, does her own thing. But I still love her very much. She has beautiful, beautiful hair. And she also knows seven languages. And I'm really proud of her for that. She went to night school a couple years ago because uh, she, she dropped out when she was a, a young girl. 
and uh, yeah, I'm just, she's beautiful. You know, you guys are gonna meet her. I just don't want the paparazzis and the TMZOs and all those guys to start hassling me because they see how beautiful my wife is and then they just wanna follow me everywhere. And you know, I want a personal life. You know, some things are secret. You know, just because I am a, a big time YouTuber doesn't mean I'm ready for to be a Leonardo, Matt Damon, Pitt Brad kind of guy, you know? All right, we got a new question from Lou Scoop from Boston. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can really say this online, so I'm just gonna bleep out some of the words. You bleeping bleep. I remember you and your two friend from preschool, things never change. Well, uh, I actually remember you, Lou Scoop, and you're a little asshole. This guy would bully me in the ward every Tuesday at four o'clock after school. He would punish me, he would push me. That's, uh, that's actually how me and Ward would have to team up and uh, use our minds sometimes to beat this uh, figurative giant. You know, we were David, he was Goliath. And we actually broke his nose one day. We got us sent to the principal's office and we were actually expelled from the from the school for like two or three weeks, but it was worth it because that kid was an asshole. And you know what? I actually looked him up on Facebook the other day. He's just a plumber in Boston. He's not. He doesn't do anything with his life. So fuck you, Lou Scoop. All right, we got a new one coming in. I'm excited for you guys to see this pumpkin. It's gonna be really cool. Right, we got a new one here. Lip Bajel from Alaska says, if you had to eat one type of food for the rest of your life, what it, would it be? Well, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a big hot wing fan, and I've been looking for a good wing challenge, but everything out there is for amateurs. You know, I'm a fucking pro. So right now, um, if I could eat anything, it'd probably be hot wings for the rest of my life. Uh, and like I said, I'm looking for a really good uh, wing challenge to, for you guys to see, and it's gonna be good. I, I want it to be good. I don't want this amateur uh, Furious P, LA Beast type of stuff. I want to be. I want to show you guys the pro level of wing eating. So I'm, I'm still looking out there. I might even have to make up my own challenge because this is going to be some pretty uh, advanced stuff out there. Okay. Thanks, Lynn Basil from uh, Alaska. And you know, I just want to say thank you to all the fans out there who's uh, doing this live feed right now with me. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I'm glad we get to celebrate this fun, uh, fun holiday together. And like I said, this is my favorite holiday. Alright, that's good. This is going out really good. Let's see if there's any more from the feed out here. Alright, yep, something's coming in it looks like. From New Hampshire, Delirious Mark can suck my balls 42. Clever name. And it says, why do you and the ward suck each other's dicks every night before bed? I used to see you guys make out after class, and that was two days ago. Ha ha ha, suck balls, and I ate more eggs than you the other day with my eyes closed. <laughs> well, that was very specific. Um, yeah, in high school there were some rumors that me and the ward were gay together. Uh, those were disproved right away when, uh, when I had sex with the girl. Uh, a lot of people don't know that um, I was bullied a lot as a kid. <sighs> Excuse me, uh, but that's all. That's all different now. You know, me and the war have the gym. You know, we're doing these challenges. We're we're here on the YouTube community, and we've got nothing but respect. But you know, once you get big, that's when all the haters start coming back for you. And this guy, you know, he's just rude. He's obnoxious. He doesn't know anything about competition. And I'm sorry that we even had to read that question. But you know, I'm a I'm a people pleaser, and I want all the questions to be answered here today. Shit. Well, that's not good, is it? Oh, bent thing, jeez. Pay $10,000 for a knife cutter and it doesn't even work. Okay, let's see if there's any more questions coming out here. Oh, did you, <laughs> I don't know if I can pronounce this one, guys. Dejuarde from Iran, greeting Mark. Where is your wife from, Saiba? Sounds very nice. Saiba is a citizen of the world. That's what she told me when we first met. Um, if I had to guess, I think she's actually from Lithuania or somewhere over there in uh, somewhere in Africa like that Lithuania or maybe even Zimbabwe I'm not exactly sure but one thing is is that she's one of a kind 
and uh, I can't wait till we have a kid together. And like I said, we're really trying hard. I've been reading books. I've been working out even harder just so my sperm count goes up. I've been even eating a lot of pineapple just to make sure it all tastes good. So I'm just really hoping that that works out very soon. Okay, we got another one coming in. Oh, great. Lou Scoop is back. Mark, you dirty cocksucker, where do you live now? Ugh. You know, Lou, I'm not going to disclose that information to you, but if you've been keeping up with my videos and watching, you can clearly tell where I am in the state of California. All right, Lou, if you want to come fight me, come at the castle. You know where it is. You can find me in the ward and we'll kick your fucking ass, okay, Lou? God, some people just never grow up, I think, and it just really grinds my gears. You know, I've been working a really hard to get this gym going. I, I'm even trying to get a, a, a protein bar line out with uh, my face on it. It's supposed to be pretty high-tech advanced stuff, but uh, you know what? I just, I don't know why people have to be so rude online. It's just so annoying. All right, we got a new one coming in. Oh, yep, there it is. It's coming in, it's a little slow. Like I said, the work's probably online right now, talking to his girlfriend or something. Yeah, the work has a girlfriend, if you guys didn't know. She's very pretty. I've never had sex with her like he did with my wife, but you know, we can't be all perfect like me. Okay, let's see. Still trying to come in. Gosh, so, so slow. Okay, here we go. Alice Yargo from New Mexico. Will you see any... Will, will we see any collaboration soon? Well, let me reply back. Uh, collaborations with who? Let's see if she replied, how fast she can reply back. Alex Yargle here. Anyone, she said. Um, yeah, we got some big plans. A buddy of mine actually went to high school with John Cena, so we're trying to get him on the show. Uh, I've been also contacting the Chili Beast. I've been contacting LA Beast. I've been contacting, uh, contacting uh, Delirious or Furious Pete, and we got some good prospects going, but nothing for sure. But we're trying here. Everyone at the Delirious Mark team is really trying here to, to get something good going for you guys, because I know you guys want some crazy stuff going on. And I'm gonna answer one more question from the fans, and I think that's gonna be it, because I'm almost done with my pumpkin here, and I can't be here all night. I gotta talk to Cyber. I gotta talk to War. We got some big plans for tomorrow for the gym. See what the last question of the night's gonna be. Last question of the night is. Let's see what this is. Computer's still running a little slow. Sorry about that. Oh gosh. Where is. Oh, okay. Pablo from Phoenix likes to write When is your next fight? Well, that's a very good question. I'm actually going to an orphanage this weekend, this Halloween weekend, November 1st and 2nd. It's going to be a two-day event. I'm going down to um, <clears throat> uh, San Clemente this weekend. I'm going to get a bunch of orphans together. There's going to be little Stevie, Jack-Jack, uh, Bill from uh, Santa Barbara, uh, little boy John, uh, Alice, Eve, um, Adam, Noah, Mark, Matthew, Cain, Abel, the kids are in a Christian orphanage. They're all named after Christian people. Um, Darren Aronofsky, that's one of the kids' names. I'm not even kidding. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go to San Clemente. I'm going to do a 12-hour 12 12 seminar with them where they're going to be learning how to fight, how to defend themselves against attackers, especially for stuff like Halloween. And then afterwards, I'm going to fight uh, a good a little charity fight. I don't know who the fighter's going to be. They said it's going to be top-notch, good entertainment. And that's where my next fight's going to be. So I'm going to reveal to you guys my pumpkin here. Put the top on like a good little pumpkin boy. All right. All right, guys. DM. Delirious Mark. Smiley face. Pumpkin carving. Remember, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I love the fans. I love the fans. Remember, guys, keep eating. Stay delirious. Comment, like, share. See you guys next time.